Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, there are reasons for testing the uh, new versions of Windows on um, the Insider Rings. Uh, one of them is, first of all, I've seen quite a high number of people that are unable to install 24H2 with all sorts of error messages. So a lot of people that are on release preview try to install and they get either a blue screen, some get error messages while the install goes and then it rolls back. So warning to anybody that wants to install it before, um, higher than normal number of users having issues and it's the reason why they're pushing it to win the uh, release preview so that we all test it before this fall and it's going to give them time to fix the bugs. As for myself, it works well, but I do have this error message that pops up not every time I start my PC, but I'd say one out of three or four times that I will start it, uh, which is PCASVC.dll, which is the Program Compatibility Service. Uh, basically, that checks if the uh, software you install is compatible with the Windows uh, system. So this is very interesting um, that I get this message, but it doesn't prevent me from running uh, fine. Once I just click OK, it, the rest of the PC works just great. So definitely there are some issues uh, in the uh, 24H2. Um, and even here on the channel, I've seen a lot of people complain that there's uh, quite a few little things they're having a hard time with. So I would say that if you want to try it, uh, be aware that you could run into problems. And um, also, well, you know, like all things in life, if you don't want to have problems, wait until they actually officially send it out to everybody this fall or later, um, maybe next year. So uh, 24H2 seems to uh, need a little bit of tweaking and a little more of, uh, of fixes before it will probably be stable and work well on computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.